Beste. Having some lovely weather today. Better than it was last night. Can hardly walk across here such a skating rink. But anyway, welcome back. Dan and I are gonna fix some stuff. Or just take apart broken stuff. Yeah. We're actually not gonna oh. fix anything. Oh. What? Ah, I forgot to take my headlight off again. Oh. <laughs> You'll need it. <laughs> now hopefully it's dark in that corner back there. Right? Yeah. Catherine stole the Kubota, so we gotta walk. We gotta walk. Not that we don't need the exercise, but. Beside the point. Beside the point, that's right. Well, here's our project. That motor ain't running, so we can't agitate our pit, which is okay for right now, but once we get to sub zero temps, the manure starts freezing up. We like to agitate it get more of a slurry rather than just a pile of frozen crap in there so that we gotta take this up to the motor place and get it uh, worked on got our wires pulled out you got one bolt out got one one off one loose need my wrench Not really. Oh, my camera crew just showed up. Ooh. Yeah. You got anybody to breed? No. No? No breeding today. Got here just at the right time. We might need help. He's hard to work with. It seems like both people here got hit with the Krabby stick this morning. I did not get hit with the Krabby stick. Me neither. I just well, started doing everything. Feisty. You feeling? Yeah. Get a good view of my backside. Yeah, I was gonna start singing the big boy song, but <laughs> I didn't think that would be appropriate. <laughs> You have to explain that one to Joel Nelson. <laughs> well, Joel Nelson, go get TikTok and you can see Paul's big boy video. Yeah, you ready to come down with it? Yeah. Well, maybe he can have Pat Miller explain it to him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm sure Pat has seen it. They wrote it for Pat, I think. <laughs> 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 stuff yeah you'll have to send me that clip <laughs> will i die if i step on this no you're not gonna die it's it, concrete oh i couldn't tell oh no it's not what it's foam shut up see oh my god i almost fell in you're dumb <laughs> there got her out of there got her thrown in here Catherine tried pushing me down a couple of times. <laughs> and Catherine, who did you say made the box extra heavy duty? The IRS. The IRS. Yeah, that's what it says. Read it. Well, they got the independent rear suspension. See, they have 87,000 more agents. They can make Kubota boxes <laughs> heavy duty now. Well, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> the IRS is behind making the Kubota. Dad's gonna work on spreading some of these stockpiles. He wants to get that done. Oh, 
guy running me over. Got a few loads to do, shouldn't take them too long though. Well, Dad's all hauling manure. We're gonna get uh, these waterers wired in again. Got donut heaters go in there. Got one in my pocket right here. So, put them in there. Heats the water up, keeps it from icing over. And uh, then most of the time keeps the water line from freezing. But this one you can see is very full. So full it's uh, running out. So we're going to try and see if we can't get that fixed too while we're here. Got them all put back together. Everything's working like it should. Now, these idiots are kind of licking around on that one, but hopefully they leave it alone. Ugh. This will be getting clean tonight. Probably bed it in the morning once all this slop is gone. Yeah, this barn it just kind of sucks the way it's built. The waterers are out here, and then there's cement pillar there, and trying to get power ran. This is about the best I could come up with without doing a lot of fancy stuff. I guess we probably could get some metal pipe and run it over and come straight down in here and do some bracing or maybe run it along there all the way to the floor and in maybe that'd be better too maybe get some flex pipe in there or something but it works it's not the greatest we took a piece of an old jug cut it up because kind of protect that wire yeah, it works. This one that ain't too bad. It's just this one's a little bit longer distance, so that doesn't help either. Kind of gives them more to work on. But yeah, the heaters are working. Turned them on and stuck my hand in there, and the water was actually felt warm. So. That's what they're supposed to do. Well, we're into the next day now. It's about just shy of 10 o'clock in the morning. Yay! We're all heading up to the farm. Waylon's having fun in the snow. Yo, this is the perfect snow to make a snowman. This is the perfect snow to make a snowman. Should make a giant one. As big as our house. Not as big as our house. But as you can see, we got a bunch of snow stuck on the trees. Looks nice. But uh, yeah, good day to not get too big of a jump. <laughs> Come on, snow eating man. Take the morning a little slow. We got, you know, chores done earlier, but. Yeah, see what we can go work on today. See if we can ever get whaling out of the snow. <laughs> How's that snow taste? Oh, no. 
No, no, he's here on his loader. He's loving the snow. Are you planning on getting anything done today? Not with the crew I got. I kind of <laughs> gave up already. <laughs> yeah. Well, the plan is to fix stalls. We'll see how that goes. Made school canceled again because apparently they got pretty soft in there. What what it takes to cancel a school. Yeah. Made his day. He gets to spend his whole day with us now. <laughs> I mean, I can see the blacktop, so that's pretty good. I mean, back in my day, we, we wouldn't get a snow day unless there was like four feet on the road. We didn't have snow days back in. Well, yeah, days. you guys didn't even have snow days you back in. Walk up hill both ways, so don't well, yeah. Don't yeah. Worry about the uh, hard hard yeah. to close a school for kids that gotta walk. Yeah. Well, you know. In the mean streets of Connorsville, we never never shut down. <laughs> Well, Dad and Nate are getting a start on the stalls. I had to go pay for some seed and, and a seed and bought a seed tender, so I went and paid for that too. You not long enough? Oh, you can just get all the nuts off, then we'll just call you out the phone and all. Huh? Did you get it all the way through or did oh, you line yeah. up with a oh. two by four? No, I'm out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Cows sure are hard on stuff, so this is like a never ending project. We're trying to get the stalls in one piece. Well, we got the stalls fixed. It's a lot of repetitive stuff, so. I didn't want to bore you guys too much. The payload is beeping. But, uh, yeah, it's dinner time, so we're going to have some dinner and then we'll see what, what else we get into, I guess. But, I suppose at some point we're going to start pushing some snow. Some of our crappy snow. It's kind of shut. Dad's leaving with the spreader there. We're gonna spread that load. Come back and we'll load up another one. Get this stuff cleaned up. First, I gotta look at some thread tape and fix the float because this was just a slop hole. And it, cause that water is running over. So we gotta try and tighten up that float a little bit. Cause it's just, just trickling out of there. But a trickle adds up to a lot after a while, you know. So we'll go do that. Well, I can't see any water leaking. It's moving a little bit though. But I think it might just be floating. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the right word is. Maybe it's for me kicking the side of it. I don't know. Swirling. But I can't see anything leaking in there, so I'm going to call that fixed. Slap that back on there. Pop that in. Yeah, that'll do. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I think that'll do it for this one. We're just gonna keep on cleaning and uh, getting stuff done. Snow makes it so lovely to 
you know, adds so much work. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.